Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours. Today we're in Colton, California at Hermosa Gardens Cemetery and we are here to see the great Morgan Earp. Join us. Strange RV Tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review or some tips to fit your RV too. So come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend. Just sit right back in your easy chair. Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on the air. to see Morgan Seth Earp. He's born April 24th, 1851 and assassinated in Tombstone March 18th, 1882. Well, he was actually moved here in 1892 from Mount Slover because they were doing some mining. So they moved him here because they were going to dig him up. Yeah, I guess but um, this is Colton California and this is where his parents lived and his wife Louisa Al Louisa Alice Houston was her name and I think she was from Montana and actually Morgan was born in Iowa they got married in Montana in the 1870s 1875 he left Wichita, Kansas, went on to Missouri, all the family was hanging out there, and then the brothers went to Tombstone. Well, he ended up following down there with his wife, Louisa, and they were all hanging out there. It's too rough for her. So the mom and dad moved here to Colton, California. And since it's so rough and awful in Tombstone, he brought his wife here to stay with his mom and dad. So that's how all that came about. And that's how he ended up with his brothers down there in Tombstone. The OK Corral fight was in 1881, October 26, 1881. That was a big to-do, everybody knows about that. When all that was said and done, Morgan was playing pool at the Campbell and Hatch billiard parlor one night after he went to a play and that uh, Louisa was with his parents and wasn't there but he went to a play and they were playing pool okay apparently there were some words earlier in the day with some of the other guys the cowboys know, the cowboys and they were always you know button heads anyway well a shot went through the door, through a window pane, and got Morgan in the side, all the way through his kidney, with his spine, and out the other side, and hit another guy in a thigh. So, down he went. When they laid him down, he actually said, oh, that hurts too much. He said, I guess this is the last game of pool I'm gonna get to play. That's what he said, supposedly. Well, they ended up moving him into another room and the doctors came and they said, it's gonna be fatal. It's just inevitable. Well, he's laying there and, he, and between Wyatt and him, they had supposedly promised to tell each other at death if anything was on the other side, if you saw anything neat, you know, like special lights and stuff like that, you know, or and apparently Morgan says I don't see a damn thing so he was conveying that to Wyatt at the time but during that shooting a bullet even went over Wyatt's head so um there was a couple shots at that time uh, but Morgan got hit really bad yeah an outlaw named Pete Spence was uh 
uh, one of the chief suspects in the murder of Morgan Earp. Right. Well, they ended up taking Morgan out here by train. And Louisa was here and the parents were here and that's how he resided here. But, but uh, there's some neat... Well now, on the, on the train out there, yeah. they ended up uh, killing Mr. Stillwell. Yeah, he was waiting in Tucson. Yeah, when the, when the uh, train made a stop in Tucson, the cowboys had a uh, member of their gang, uh, Mr. Stillwell, mm -hmm. that uh, was laying in wait for uh, the Earps to arrive, and they spotted him before they actually uh, got close enough for him to shoot, so they ended up killing Mr. Stillwell. Correct. And that was the start of Wyatt Earp's vengeance posse where he went around basically rounding up and killing all the cowboys that were responsible for the death of his brother. Correct. And the, yeah, the attempted assassination of Virgil also. Yes. But so. There's some um, neat um, placards here. And uh, Greg, you want to tell them about that? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Here is, here is the headstone. U.S. Deputy Marshal Morgan S. Earp, born 1851, assassinated, Tombstone, Arizona, March 18, 1882. On the back of his tombstone, donated by the Southern California Paraders Association in 1991. So we're not sure if he had a tombstone before this tombstone. A lot of times, especially with Old West tombstones, people will come along and chip little pieces of the tombstone off so they can have a piece of of Morgan Earp basically um, so that may have been what happened to the old one before this one got replaced or he may not have had one I don't know in front of his tombstone there's a marker that says in memory of Morgan Earp dedicated March 18th 2013 by the Colton Police Department in recognition of 125 years of law enforcement service Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We got a this bottle over there up here too. POA. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe a C POA. I don't know. City. I don't know. Colton Police Association or out of organization. I don't know. Anyhow. Police Officers Association. There you go. And uh, yeah, somebody's left him a uh, some Copenhagen. A bottle opener and some flowers roses what do you need yep and if you decide you'd like to come out here and visit Morgan the easiest way to locate him once you get here to the Hermosa Garden Cemetery the main entrance is going to be at the far end where I'm pointing up here you're going to turn in, make your way back to the far right-hand corner of the cemetery. And I'll turn this around, give you a better marker. From where I'm standing, there's this surgery center right here, just beyond the fence. And a telephone pole. Morgan's headstone is in direct line with this telephone pole right there there's this large tree next to it right behind it and you can see where we parked right down here in this little white vehicle so pretty easy to get to pretty easy to find rest in peace morgan thank you for your service sir after Morgan's death, he, Wyatt knew that the law was going to take care of nothing. So Wyatt and Warren, the other brother, got a posse together to go after these guys. Um, for he wasn't doing it under his, you know, being a marshal or anything. He was doing it on his own, trying, kind of like an outlaw. Because 
he knew the law was going to do nothing. So they got together on his own, paid the guys in the posse and everything on his own, him and, and Warren, and they took off after him. They had to do something to revenge, you know, avenge Morgan's death. Wyatt actually put his house up as collateral to uh, raise money to fund the posse that went after the cowboys. All right, folks. Well, we hope you enjoyed this uh, little visit that we made out here to see the great Morgan Earp and his grave site. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell up in the corner. Please share these videos. And Miss Janet, do you have anything you'd like to add? Well, the family was so close. I mean, all the brothers, even the sisters. I mean, they are a close family, a huge family, a huge family. But and when somebody was injured or hurt, it meant a lot, a lot. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching.